we would like to present our work on autonomous exploration. Our approach computes paths that can be followed by one or more autonomous vehicles to build a complete map of the environment. The approach has been tested on various types of vehicles and in several different environments. The exploration problem is still a difficult problem to solve. First, it needs an efficient representation of the environment. As the vehicle explores, we constantly update the representation to keep track of the covered and uncovered areas. Second, it needs to efficiently search the representation for the paths. The existing approaches we have examined do not effectively tackle either of those challenges. Many of them rely on greedy strategies that optimize only marginal coverage for a few steps ahead, rather than optimizing the full path. Consequently, the exploration route can become redundant with frequent back and forth motions. Additionally, the representation often takes excessive time to update leading to the vehicle pauses during the exploration, waiting for the path to update. Our approach uses a dual-resolution representation of the environment, which involves two levels of processing. The local level operates in the region close to the vehicle and processes high-resolution data. The global level spans the rest of the environment and only processes low-resolution data sparsely distributed in distant subspaces. The approach optimizes the paths at both levels by solving combinatorial optimization problems, which are then joined together. The insight here is that the local level uses detailed processing to ensure the complete coverage in the surroundings of the vehicle. And the global level provides high-level guidance to the exploration, trading off data resolution for computational efficiency. Compared to the current state-of-the-art methods, our approach demonstrates substantially higher efficiency and generates more complete maps. The algorithm's runtime is less than half of that of the existing approaches. The results we present here are obtained from a lightweight aerial vehicle exploring a section of a university campus. The system integrates a 3D scanning LiDAR, a forward-looking camera, and an IMU for state estimation. The exploration planner takes the registered scan data as the input to compute the paths. What we are seeing now is the overall exploration process at 12 times of the real-time speed. The vehicle started from the left side of the scene, explored to the right side, and returned to the start point in the end. The blue path here is the path that the vehicle followed to fulfill the exploration. Here, we are seeing the final map built by the system as the vehicle flew. No post-processing is involved. The environment is complex and three-dimensional as we can see. The flight lasted for five minutes. The vehicle traveled over 550 meters and the maximum speed was 2.5 meters per second through the run. We extend the methodology from single robot to multi-robot exploration. We understand that the communications among robots are hard to be consistent in reality due to distance limits and occlusions. Our team of robots explore and actively pursue other robots to exchange information if they estimate an overall efficiency improvement. The strategy is flexible without the need for predefined handshake locations and demonstrates highly efficient exploration. Our technology supported the CMU OSU team in the DARPA Subterranean Challenge. The competition requires the robot teams to explore and detect objects in underground tunnel, urban, and cave-style environments fully autonomously. The final competition took place in September 2021 inside the Louisville Mega Cavern in Kentucky. Our three ground robots, powered by the exploration algorithm, traversed 26 out of the overall 28 sectors, and more than 80% of them were explored in the first half of the competition. Being the fastest and the most complete exploration among all teams, we won the Most Sectors Explored Award in the final competition.